Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is you're watching this. GearTube TV coming at you. We're heading out to the other garage and this morning we're going to put the windshield frame on the Jeep. So for anybody that's wondered about a Wrangler YJ windshield frame, very basic, simple construction. Now I have to do some touch up stuff, so don't worry about that. But uh, simple frame, you got a gasket on the bottom, goes across there. You'll eventually have pieces where your soft doors would meet up, which is why there's little holes in this. You have a header channel across the top, your glass, and then your uh, area where your wiper arms come through with the linkage. So to prep for this, I got an old blanket, an old towel, and I got some clean shop rags where the bumpers are and I don't recommend doing this by yourself but the reality is I don't have uh, any resources available right now to help me do it so I'm gonna put the GoPro on the tripod there's not gonna be much audio until I get it up here and I'm ready to put the bolts in and start hooking up wiper linkage so with that said, let's get started. Okay, hopefully you can hear me all right. I'm gonna turn the radio off just so there's less background noise. Now the windshield frame with glass in it probably weighs uh, maybe 40, 40-ish 40 pounds. So we'll, I'll get it up on the Jeep and then I'll you know, lay it into the hinge as delicately as possible. You gotta be really careful with the fact that there's glass in it uh, as to you know making sure that it sat long enough I let it sit for over a week with the polyurethane to cure and Safe Light Auto Glass said it does take about a week a little less than a week for their polyurethane to completely 100% cure so this has been in the garage uh, again for a little over a week so we're gonna go ahead and use it I uh, should not have to worry about the glass sliding around or even falling out. So, turn the radio off, we'll get started. So ideally, I want to be at the inside of it. And what I like to do is just set it up. Now my blanket's bunching up, which is no big deal. and try to slide it over as far as possible. All right, reposition the blanket so when I lay it down, it should be okay. Gently down. Now I can move my blankets back over. Perfect, okay, so it's now laying on the hood and you just kind of start one side into the hinge like that it's not going to go anywhere come over here same thing pick it up a little bit ease that as a pivot that side into the hinge come back over and that side okay so basically, the windshield frame is exactly where it needs to be. Perfect, okay. I'm gonna get the bolts and I'm gonna go inside, get my head mount for the GoPro, 
and that way then you can get a first person point of view of what I'm doing. All right, be right back. Okay, windshield frame bolts. These are still a Torx bit. It is what it is. So I usually get one started. And I think it's a T45. All right, so T40 is a safe bet. So I just, and this, I need to lift up just a little bit. Because the hinge isn't laid all the way down. Which is not a big deal. And take two to the other side. So then I try to make these just a little bit snug because you don't really want to start. What it does is it pulls the windshield frame between the sides. <clears throat> so I start them just a little bit so then I can at least get it folded up somewhat. Now this is not going to be the permanent position for these, obviously. Uh, let's see. So again, we just want to get a few threads in, enough that it holds. Try to do is slowly lift up on it. It's not very easy because these hinges are stiff. And this is where it helps to have two people. Nice and slow. Okay. So that's high enough where I can get bolts in the front. And then just double check them, make sure that there's a good tight. Okay. Check these ones over here. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Okay, that's it. Windshield frame is bolted up. Next thing we're gonna do is put the wiper um, parts in and get rid of the blanket and the towel. Well, I might leave the towel up here because of the wiper stuff. <coughs> and put the VIN plate back on. Yeah, all right, great job. So, we will just keep moving on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the wiper parts in. Now this is the wiper linkage. 
and amongst all this mess. So I took this one off, which is for the passenger side, and it has um, a ball and socket. And then this one is like permanently connected except for it has a C-clip of some sort. These go on the front and that's what hold these in place. And then the other piece that attaches to this ball is attached to the wiper motor. So to start, I'm going to put this piece in with one of the threaded uh, retainers. Sorry, the camera's so shaky. On the front, you see there's two little tabs that stick out. Hopefully it stays in focus. And what you do, I know it's hard to see, you put it in, and the idea is you line up those tabs and it'll only truly fit one way like that and I want to check the inside yeah that's right okay so then you slide this over And I'm not going to snug it all the way down, but basically the idea is if you can see that piece moving, your wiper arm goes over that, and that's what moves it back and forth across your windshield. Okay. And you can see inside that the ball goes towards the bottom part of the windshield, and that's what we want. And this is how you want the linkage on this side. So you stick that end in. And you just really got to pay attention to what you're doing. It can be a real pain, I'll be honest. Okay, so that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Pull it back out, try again. I think I'm on the, the right concept here. Okay, so that's in. So now we come over and we wanna hook our linkage, which is hanging down here. into that ball, which is really easy. It just snaps on. It's easy in theory. So now we've got the wiper motor with this arm here. And I already greased that socket as well. And you can see the ball here that it goes on. Now the way this works is there's a gasket, which I'm just going to reuse the old one. It seems to be in decent shape. And let's see, yeah, gasket sits like this. And then, so the arm this arm will go in this hole, get attached. I'll slide the gasket underneath. The motor only sits in the gasket one way because of these grooves. And then the VIN plate, actually the VIN plate goes underneath of the gasket. Okay. Pliers. It's popped on. Okay. 
So next up is the gasket. Seriously, this is when you need an extra set of hands. I'm not kidding you. It was facing the wrong way. There we go. Okay, that's sitting nice. Line up the windshield or the VIN plate like that. There's three screws that hold the wiper motor on. And these are Torx. It's like a T25. I usually start over here. sort of fall there it is right in the place put that one there to start come over here okay I got that one started and then right in here behind there's one Okay, so you snug this down. Okay, wiper motor's on, linkage is hooked in. Uh, this wire here gets held by that screw. However, I'm slightly confused. I guess that'll go like that once the screw is set. Then that'll come down and snug the wire up. And that's it. So let's finish that quick. So you just feed it through the wire, back to the hole in the gasket. Push it through the gasket. And then you just gotta find where the hole is here. Hopefully it started. Looks like it maybe did. Yep. Alright, so just tighten this up. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so next you just take your wire loom, bend that around, pull some garbage out of this thing. I'm sure there's large bugs I'm probably grabbing. sure I have the wiper going the right way in the right position is to actually cycle it and what we should see is it should go away from me and come back Looks good. Delay works. Very good. Okay. How about that? I got the linkage on the right way. The first time, everything works. It's all greased up. It's nice and quiet. 
Uh, next, I'm going to start to fold the windshield frame up. And let me tell you, this is a task with the new gasket. It's going to be a pain, um, but I'll try my best. You know, I'll be honest, never thought about how terrible the lighting is with that garage door open, but hopefully this fixes it a little bit. All right, push up. Just about where the gasket is going to make contact with the cowl. And this is where you kind of have to pull this out a little bit. And again, this is perfect opportunity where two people would be needed. But you do the best you can with what you got. So I'm going to push back a little bit further. starting to make contact some places. So I'm trying to pull this out a little bit. And remember when I said in the last video it's not going to let you go up all the way. Might not have been the last video. but Now another way is to stand on the inside and pull it back towards you. So you could use like a channel lock plier. I have this uh, 12 inch, goes to one and a half inch um, adjustable. And you don't need to be Superman with these. You just want them a little bit snug. You'll feel the tension on it. So those are tightened, just about done. And the next thing I'm going to show you is the trick with the ratchet straps, the roll bar, to pull that windshield frame back. And that's a couple day process. All right guys, so this is what I call the double ratchet setup. And I got a ratchet strap connected to a ratchet strap as well as on the other side. Goes around as, you know, generally as high as I can on the windshield frame. And then basically, sorry about the noise, you just start putting tension start to move back. And like I said, you only want to go a little bit at a time and then let it sit for a while. So I'm going to stop there. And if I'm able, I'm going to put another one down a little lower that goes sort of up here and pull it, you know, almost straight back, but not quite. The whole idea is the more the higher you are, the more leverage you have to come back. But you don't want to pull it so hard that you bend the frame or even break the glass. It, it's so delicate. I try to do it a day at a time. So I'll let this sit for today. Tomorrow I'll tighten it up a little bit more and the next day and the next day. And keep popping that gasket out 
along the bottom where you see it bunched up and you're good to go. I'm going to cut the video here because I know it's a pretty long video but for anybody that has a YJ, I know how frustrating it can be to make sure you get the linkage going the right way. And hopefully that was helpful. Uh, there's not very much information out there as far as what direction to have the bars that slide on the uh, ball and socket. No information on where the position of the motor needs to be that it pushes out and then back like it's supposed to and also information about crushing these gaskets. Um, I've read about it, but I've never seen it done, so hopefully this works for anybody with a YJ. You can see how replacing this gasket can be a real nuisance, but this is an easy way to make sure you crush that and get it in place, and you just keep, keep a good amount of tension on it, go slow, and you'll be done. Also, if you have a soft top, make sure you take that black plastic piece for your soft upper doors off before you do this otherwise you'll snap it and it'll snap quick a little bit of tension and it's gone so again I'm gonna cut it here I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend and we'll catch you all next week with a little more updates and then I think we're ready to take this to a pen dot place and after I get touch up done um, some areas that need touched up with the paint It'll be roadworthy. We're ready to rock. So take care. We'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.